It's a problem everyone's faced. One more episode, or go to sleep. We don't always go for the sensible option. But now, for the first time, scientists have shown how damaging binging can be for your health. Sometimes we lose a little bit of sleep. It's part of life. If you feel you're not in control, however, that's a whole different uh, issue. Han Vandenbalk is a researcher at the University of Michigan. He and his co-author, Lisa Exelman, wanted to find out whether binging is worse for you than regular TV watching, which isn't actually so bad. So they surveyed more than 400 Facebook users between 18 and 25 years old. They asked the participants about their streaming habits, how easily they fall asleep, and how well rested they feel. What wasn't surprising? People who binged shows, watching at least two episodes, were more stimulated before going to sleep and were almost twice as likely to sleep worse, suffering insomnia or feeling fatigued. What was surprising, the effect was only for people who binge-watched shows, not people who simply watched a bunch of different TV shows. That means binge-watching is having a very particular effect on our brains. There's very limited research on binge chewing, and the research that has been done seems to indicate that binge chewing happens unintentionally, so people just end up watching more than they wanted to. So, does this mean you should stop binging Game of Thrones? Well, not exactly. Lisa Perks wrote a book called Medium Marathoning about the phenomenon of binge watching. She says despite the lack of sleep, it may be better than traditional habits of watching whatever's on. To me, that has the potential to, from what I found, to be a healthier habit. It's not just this mindless passive reception, it's more purposeful, and it's more meaningful. The real question is whether people can identify when it isn't purposeful, or when stimulating TV might not be worth a good night's sleep. Our research does not indicate that you should quit television overall, it just indicates that you might want to check on your uh, binge-watching behavior, you might want to change if you're, you feel like it's affecting your sleep, and that it could be something useful to do if you want to improve sleep. Our study uh, also highlights that we should always stay on top of new evolutions in our media use and how our media habits change sleep habits. I think a lot of people don't know that you can switch off the autoplay fun function in Netflix. So they give you the next episode, but you can avoid that because that's where a lot of people seem to get in trouble with binge watching. So um, if you find the function, just switch it off and save yourself. <laughs>